This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Oh, we're already in. And I also have two full stacks of hearts as well. Beneath Hyrule Castle. Yeah, talk. Hmm. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. I find it interesting that he's wearing the uh, the pauldron from the uh, from the uh, I'm making sure the stream is looking okay. We're definitely recording, so that's at least good. I find it interesting that he's wearing the pauldron from the. Um, the Hylian adventurer garb, but he's still wearing the champion's tunic underneath. Short Hair Zelda actually looks um, much more natural than I thought she would. And what are these things? Am I leading? People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. The gloom. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But. I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Aw, confidence in her knight. Controls, focus, move, put away, jump, action. Okay, everything looks pretty much... Yeah, the same. Don't mind me, Zelda, just doing a little backflip action. I had a feeling that um, starting starting the game from the home screen of the Switch would just immediately start the game, kind of like a, a Breath of the Wild did. Oh, hello. When I was a child, I asked my father if there was anything below the castle. He told me there was, though seeing it for ourselves or even discussing the matter was forbidden. No one in our family knew anything more than that. Oh. Ooh. Whoa, that looks cool. Ever since the end of the calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I could but I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels that were hiding here. Huh? We must be careful as we move deeper. It's so cool because the uh um in uh Breath of the Wild it was just it was just um a beam of blue, but now the actual sword itself you can see um, is visible through the beam. So the effect on it is just a little more, just a little higher quality. Hmm. I can recall what my father, what my father said even now. No one must ever venture beneath the castle, not even one of us. He said this warning had been passed down through my family for as long as anyone could remember. What a rebel. Just have my slate. Oh, I don't have my Sheikah Slate. Do you have it? You have it. Yeah, it's right there. 
These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something's written here. Might these runes be from the Zonai? Should I be familiar with that? As a... As a Zelda fan? These carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in, or in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago, in the time of the earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civ civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none gives us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Full disclosure, um, I love the Zelda games, but I haven't played that many of them, so my knowledge of the lore might be a bit lacking compared to some other streamers that you're going to see. But, um... I played Breath of the Wild extensively, this being a Breath of the Wild sequel, I feel reasonably comfortable. Is this what the Zen... I don't even... I was not even paying attention to this thing. Is this what the Zonai looked like? They seem so different than us, and such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here, beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Look, an egg. An egg. So weird. The music is so odd right now. Hang on, Zelda. There we go. Oh, it... I was about to, um... It's just a keys. You're not hurt, are you, Link? It, it was keys, Zelda. <laughs> Oh, they're kind of cute. Look at these mirrors. Mm. That was in the trailer. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. Zonai, not the Zonai. Look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. Oh, wow. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. That's what he does. Oh, it looks so cool. I've read during my studies. Oh. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> if the creature depicted here really does represent the demon king, then... This mural must be the Great War recorded in the royal histories. This 
this is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Clink! This is a huge discovery. <laughs> Link stoic as ever. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. Pura, that's how you pronounce it's your name. Easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Well, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Much a bombable wall there, kiddo. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Will do, Miss Croft. Yeah, I don't have him pushing up on the thing. Obviously, I d I'm, obviously you can see that I don't. But I don't have a slate. So we can't bomb those. And I don't have a... Uh, I love the confusion when he tries to reach for a bow that doesn't exist. Oh? Hmm? Oh, that was something I wanted to, uh... Okay. Okay, everything looks, uh, we've got a full three stamina wheels and a full, full range of hearts. That's gonna be all stripped away. For some reason, but why? It's like in Red Dead 2, um, Arthur has zero money at the start because they had to run. So, what makes Link lose all of his hearts and his stamina? And the Master Sword. This reminds me, not anything in particular, but the tone reminds me of, of the beginning of Super Metroid. We're exploring like the abandoned caves and it's all the, the tone is just very creepy and very like kind of suspenseful. Oh, talk. Uh -huh. I can't tell you how excited I am. The murals down here, their images support so much of what historians have written about. Yes, they do. <laughs> what a nerd. Oh, the music is getting way more intense the further we go. Whoa. What is this place? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. Not yet. What am I, what else am I going to do? <laughs> my volume down to my headphones a little bit. What is that? It's one of the two things at the formation of Hyrule, when the Zonai and the um, Hylians came together. There were two of them, like two halves. Was that a shard of the sword?
Raru. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? Oh, it, it, he's sokova it. <laughs> Man, he really messed Link up. It's not just armor, it's alive or something. Bro, it split a chunk off the Master Sword. Those those little, those little ribbons from the first teaser trailer that we got. Functionally, this arm is our new Sheikah slate, right? This is going to be our new like secret, uh, our new like special item. Wow. Dude, he really messed Link up. And he did that like fresh from being awoken. Link, finally you wake. Nice hair. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. <laughs> Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. He just lost that arm. That's not even, like, armor covering it. Oh, dang. Look at the bottom of it. Bro, look at Caveman Link. Look at that hair. Look at that hair animation, actually. Man, that's impressive. I bet we can't pick it up yet. Never mind. <laughs> Dude! The sword that seals the darkness. It's, it's got a power of one. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. So the gloom is going to be like the new malice, I'm guessing. Or corruption or whatever it was in Breath of the Wild. Holy crap, dude. Attack with your equipped weapon. Hey, 
Listen to the sound that it makes. It's got like a, like it, it sounds like metal like cutting through the air. That's cool. It's over here. Nothing. It's over here. I'm gonna try to be thorough with this while not being ridiculous about it. All right, let's cut through these vines. Oh. We're still beneath the castle, but we must be way deeper than we were before, right? Because Link also fell. No, the um, the arm grabbed him and pulled him back up. Ooh, travel gate. That's really cool. That looks like that looks almost like Egyptian, um, like ancient Egyptian style architecture. Okay, I'm just trying to get up there. Up there, looks like. Oh, what happens if you try to throw it? Because um, that was the full hearts, that was the sword beam in Breath of the Wild. And it didn't do anything. Oh, jeez. Um, can I just climb up there, or am I supposed to go through here? Oh, I can't even climb up it. Alright. Jump. All right. That we can climb. Does the stamina seem like it recharges slower than it did in Breath of the Wild? Like just just by a touch. Like a touch, just a slight bit slower. I like these diving platforms. Even from a great height, we're even taking fall damage. Minecraft. I play games very thoroughly and very slowly I, I take time to examine my surroundings and everything um because I don't ooh, the outside okay so it wasn't I, I wasn't trying to he used it <laughs> archaic leg wear open simple classic leg wear they're well worn and showing their age but they've still got a few good years left in them it can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps yeah, looks like it. Uh, that really is archaic. That's, like, ancient. So I guess I wasn't tr I'm supposed to climb up those gears and use them as platforms. Um, I'll try to keep that in the back of my mind, because you definitely can, can come back here. That registered a travel gate. Leaving our new Shrine of Resurrection. We're already in the sky, aren't we? Dude. I love how casually it... I was expecting a fanfare or something. It's just like, yeah, you're in the sky. <laughs> Look at that thing. See if I can see where about we are. I can't, I can't make anything out. Jump off of that. Oh, one of the dragons. I love the soundtrack of this game, too.
A lot of faith in your uh, ability to aim into that pool, Link. Uh, R. Oh. Not ZR. Lily pad. Dude. Man, this thing is in sorry shape, dude. I just instinctively... Oh, I can swim underneath it. I just instinctively um, tried to um, use the paraglider. Oh, whoa, it's sinking. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but are surprising. But it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but it can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Okay, so that is still the same. The UI um, uh, for weapon selection and stuff moved down. It was uh, like up above. I'm gonna be doing a lot of comparisons to what's different between this and Breath of the Wild since I've been playing so much Breath of the Wild re uh, recently. Okay, it doesn't drop all the way. Uh, oh, it was supposed to go over there. Where the, uh... Where the obvious gate is. Man. These two just got reunited, and now they're separated again. <laughs> Link and Zelda, I mean. And also keep in mind that because Link uh, died and lost his memories, this is all still, like, number one, like, coming at him really fast. But also, it's probably just like it was yesterday that the, the, the Hyrule Castle was full of people and, like, the calamity had just happened and... And stoic and wordless as ever. Just takes it on the chin. Moves on. And courageously goes forth. Crouching. Whoa. What is that? And what is this? Glistening on the ground. Oh, it's just an apple. Oh, hi, you see me. <laughs> Man. Hey, an apple. I shouldn't throw that. It's okay, I've got another one. Whoa! Zonai charge, a material... That was a... Was that a Zonai? A material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. Its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. Soldier construct horn. A blade-like horn from a soldier construct. It's very sharp, so handle with care. Stock up on my weapons. Okay, so that's a material. I thought maybe I could use that as a like makeshift sword or something. Maybe I can eventually. This new UI is going to get a little bit, um, it's going to take a little time to get used to, but I think I'm going to like it, um, maybe not more than the Breath of the Wild UI, but I think it's going to be pretty okay. Uh, what's up here? Oh, a bird. Hey, an actual weapon, kind of. <laughs> a boken. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. I will. So all of this wasn't already up here in the previous game. It it all got launched upwards in that uh that sequence that we just that sequence that we just watched. Cause I was about to say we would have been able to see this on like clear days and stuff, but
Oh, hello. You're another construct, aren't you? No. It's a broom. Hi! You've got a frog face. Hi. Link, I waited for you. Steward, con steward construct. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Hey! This is the... Pur pura. I keep wanting to say pura. Pura? Pura? pura, pura. I'm going to be saying pura because that's what I, I completely forgot the, the correct pronunciation already. This is the pura pad. I'm told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. It's a special tool that will aid us later. It's literally a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Princess Zelda's prized device. Is that different than the slate, or is that an upgraded slate? It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Ooh, that's a very satisfying um, sound effect. Current location. Great Sky Island. I'm so ready for this. Find Princess Zelda. Oh, she's just over there. That's it. Thanks. I received it from I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. Correct. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at a location marked on its map. My message has been, my message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The sound design is so good. The little clanking. The Temple of Time is visible from here. Is it? It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. A different temple of time. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. It's another palm pilot. <laughs> Main objective, find Princess Zelda. I agree. That is very satisfying engineering. <laughs> what is this thing? Anything else for me? This is the Garden of Time. Yes, this is the Garden of Time, as I just told you. The structure visible to the north is the Temple of Time. Blah, 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 blah. Apologies, I cannot help but reminisce. Head to the indicated location. Take care as you do so. Will do. Thanks, Stuart. Oh, there's another one over there. I find that so cool that the, uh, the sound effect of walking versus running is a different sound effect. It's not just the same sound effect sped up to match the footsteps. This one, you can very clearly tell, is just like just regular walking on like leaves. But when he runs, there's an actual like thud as the foot as the footstep hits. Breath of the Wild was such was so detailed. Zone I charge. Breath of the Wild was so detailed in its sound design and environment design and everything, I expect no less from this game. Um, and it's already delivering. I definitely need these. Ba bump. Um, excuse me, ma'am. You left this laying around, and my name is Link, so I don't know what you thought was gonna happen. Hello. You seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. I'll keep an eye out. Wait, soldier constructs? Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. 
Zonai who created who, who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. Yeah, I noticed that. They will consider you as a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial maintain it is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swing in haphazardly will not yield results. It works pretty well for me so far. <laughs> you may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. Your behavior is a threat. <laughs> I made I made her turtle. Uh, once again, my name is Link. Uh, nice to meet you. Don't know if you heard of me, but uh, look, man, that's just kind of what I do. Kind of a big deal. Duh. I gotta see if you're hiding any rupees, bro. Rupees, bro. Oh, just apples. That's okay. I'll take an apple. You can th throw the weapon in your hand. How many? Okay, I'm almost already full on slots. Uh, and I can sort like normal. And the master sword is still slumbering. All right. Making our way downtown. Walking fast. Faces pass. so cool <laughs> and the 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 rain shower or the shower of water that comes down after a hard impact so satisfying um i don't know why i hadn't checked until just now but i'm just making sure that uh everything is running okay everything looks perfect a little framey in places, but that's kind of to be ins to be inspected, to be expected. Whoa, hello. Ooh, a weird shroom. Sky shroom. A common mushroom that grows near trees on sky islands. Eat it to restore health. I will. I will. Um, I want to fight you. Can we do that? Hey. Oh. Easy sauce. Okay, I'm full up on weapons. Birds. Oh, wait, do I have the, uh, Yes, I do. Scope. The sound of everything is uh, very satisfying. Sound effect of pulling, pulling that out. Wow. All right. Oh, I've been playing Breath of the Wild on. Uh, I didn't. Even, I hadn't even looked down at my um, at the the mini map and the UI, the uh, the HUD down there in the left cor in the right corner, because I've been playing Breath of the Wild on with a pro pro HUD where it's just your hearts. So yeah, heading this way is our objective. So I I, I do um I do want to explore everything possible, but I am gonna head to the objective. Um, hi. Ow! <laughs> Alright, maybe I deserved that one. What happened to our paraglider? That was an invaluable resource. Why did we... Where did that go? Hi. Courage need not be remembered, for it is never forgotten. Ooh, a spur. 
Long stick. A long stick. Fashioned from a tree branch. Its straight shape makes it work well as a lunging weapon. It's a spear. It's a boko spear. <laughs> Uh, give me all the stuff. It seems like it's a bit delayed. Not delayed. Ooh. Sort, drop, back. Drop. Weird. Weird that I have, like, like an axe inventory items in, like, a hot bar. You couldn't do that in the previous game, could you? No, because up was the, uh, was your, your, uh, your runics. <laughs> That's not what they were called, but. Oh, hello. Nice. Long stick is badly damaged. That's okay. Uh, yeah, it's badly damaged, so let's get rid of it. Why did I do that? I should have gotten rid of one of the other branches I have. Ooh, what's up here? Hello. I'll investigate that later. For now, we're going to keep moving. Okay. Around this way, or we can go around that way. Wait, no, we can't, because it's up top. Oh, okay, never mind. You can't go straight to it, right here. Just looked like there was um, water. There is water, but you can swim, up th swim through it. You can swim it. Toasty Sky Shroom. A simply grilled Sky Shroom. The heat brings out its flavor and increases the amount of health it can restore. Great! Ah, I roasted that, but it is yours if you want. You roast them? Oh, I had not noticed before that you were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to, ex among my tasks is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question is about roasting food. I roast ingredients by I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. You place it near it? Just you just place it near it and that'll do it. Toasty Sky Shroom. <laughs> That's probably too far away. I don't want to have it fall in the fire, though. Baked apple. Thanks, dude. Alright, let's keep moving. There's a lot to see and a lot to do in this game, but I want to try to keep it moving, you know. I think it's weird how when I pull up the um, the slate. Okay, never mind. I thought that it was gonna have him do the animation of pulling it out and then putting it back in every single time. I was like, that's a little bit ridiculous. Hi. Ooh, you got a shawled. Oh, 
Ow! Oh, stop it. There we go. A rusty broadsword. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but it also breaks quickly. Old wooden shield. An aged, worn-out wooden shield. It can withstand lighter attacks, such as arrows. Okay. I should probably, uh... Yeah, that's worth it. Because you're worth it. Huh? Thought that was glowing for a second. So much to see who he's got a bow. He's got a bro. So much to see, so much to do, so little time. All right, let's just keep this moving for now. This looks beautiful, by the way. Poke it. Evil robot door says no. door will open only to those with sufficient power. Oh, hi. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Source of the right arm. And the wrong arm. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. That's who was talking to Zelda in the trailer. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Oh, that's a shrine. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. All right. And then he just dipped, which is fair. I think it's interesting that the shrine's in um, the closed door. I think it's inter interesting that the shrine's in um, the closed door. Find Zelda, the closed door. When you tried to open the door to the Temple of Time, Raru appeared and said that he was originally that he was the original owner of your new arm. He also said you need to revitalize the arm so the power of its touch will open the door. To do that, visit the island's shrines. A green light spirals above each of them. Um, I think it's interesting that in Breath of the Wild, the shrines were pretty much, it was kind of implied they were only there to test the hero's resolve when he awakens. Or like to test that he was truly worthy or something. Impulsively picking up rocks just in case there's a Korok under them. Alright, this guy's got a bow. Wait, what was that? Hey, an arrow. Hey, another arrow. You're only facing that way. It looks that way, right? It looks that way. <laughs> you heard nothing. You see nothing. You only see your own demise. that bow. Old wooden bow, a wooden bow from the olden days. It's built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. Cool. Normal bow controls. Any more arrows that uh, you carelessly left um, laying around? 
because you're a dork. Alright. Ah! Hello there. Got him. The delay when you select a weapon and then... So, you... you for those of you who don't, who haven't played this game or haven't played Breath of the Wild or anything, um, you press and hold and then scroll over. And when you release it, when you release it, there's a bit of a delay. And in Breath of the Wild, you release it and it immediately popped you back um, to the game. So that's gonna take a, that's gonna take some getting used to. Because it made the it made the switching of weapons mid comp mid combat. It made it very quick and very um, efficient feeling. Up there. Up there is where we're heading. Ooh. Oh, was the... Is that a rush room? A rush room? Hi. Gong sound. Hi. Just jump off this. Got close, but haven't died yet. Cause that's not foreshadowing. Will these have a trial associated with them? Like the shrines in Breath of the Wild. Ooh, it's gravel. Or sand. Travel gate. Whoa. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, hey, the loading screen shows where we are in the map. Check the screen for hints that, yep. <laughs> Hi. So, you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Now then, extend your hand. Ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. What? Mm. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you'll be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use ultra hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. That's so cool, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Th that's neat. <laughs> Rotate, hold R. That's such a fun noise. Okay. Okay, when you rotate, it does lock. Okay, so forward and back, regular moving. Uh. Okay. I think I understand. Bonk. 
The design of this place is really cool. Okay, I was wondering why why one was red and one was green. That's just the one that I'm focusing on. Oh, attach. Oh, okay, and so that those two points say what that is so cool. <laughs> oh, uh, before I rotate you. That is a hundred percent. That a hundred percent has combat implications. <laughs> Just wonk that around. And I already see a chest up there. <laughs> Almost knocked myself out. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, real quick, where, uh, is the menu here? Camera sensitivity. There, that feels a bit more comfortable. Very high. That's so cool, he uses the hand. Amber, ooh, the amber looks interesting. A fossilized resin with a caramelesque sheen to it. It has been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. And crafting? Because in Breath of the Wild, all you could do was sell it. This is so cool. I'm already all about this. Did that thing just move? This one? Oh, yeah, it is moving. Well, it is moving. There's so many implications for stuff in this game. Oh, look at it! <laughs> look at it goo together! <laughs> uh, it's gonna take some time to get used to it. Oh, wait, it's, it's all gooey. Am I doing with these? That's cool. I like that. That's very awesome. Up. Oh, wait, wait! Oh. <laughs> okay. Can I grab you from there? I cannot. Oh, but I can't go down here, because they accounted for you doing that. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to grab you yet. I think I understand what to do. Love the sounds, they're so fun. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Glue it. Pick it up. Okay, and it has automatically decided on um, locations as well. There we go. Uh, any other chests? Not really, right? This looks awfully awesome. It's such a complicated mortar and pestle, though. A 
I've only been going for an hour. Hmm. <laughs> now, is that Hylia? You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. That's not Hylia, that's just a... No, it is, right? Right? Whoa. Poke it. Excuse me. Light of blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Excuse me. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Oh, excuse me. LaCroix. Awesome. Awesome possum. Safe skydiving. When you need to dive from the sky to the surface, landing in a deep water prevent you from taking damage in the fall. Hi. You did very well getting through that shrine, as you've restored an ability. And you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. The per Pura, 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 the Pura Pad. She said, she said Pura, right? The Pura Pad offers you a scope. Handy. Looking for the little twinglies. Twinglies? Great Sky Island. Great Scott! Oh, over there. That was an elegant sound. Alright, so we need to head over there. Uh, okay, I can jump from here. I didn't see any others. The night time. Oh, that's what these are for. There's got to be other um, hooks and stuff up there that I can use. A red room. Jump. There we go. It's okay. You can jump. It's okay. You can laugh. It's funny. What a value is over here. Because I'm trying to keep this playthrough moving. So if there's not a shrine immediately over there, then we might hold off on that. Hold off on exploring and try to get some progress done. Wow. Dude, the lighting in this game is really, really good. I mean, the, the lighting in Breath of the Wild was really good, but this is gorgeous. I keep on... On instinctively trying to paraglide. <laughs> hey, a uh, not a centaur steward. <laughs> Hola. The evening time bell has chimed. My du my duties today are complete. I encourage you to use this fire to roast any ingredients you have brought. You roast them? Uh, I think. Yeah, we already. Yeah, we already talked to you. Oh yeah, this is directly. Yeah, that was literally the same one. Alright. Up there. Holy crap, that's far away. Okay. It is connected, though. So, let's just go. Q. 
get the stepping link. Link. Do I have... Okay, the travel gate uh, was this over here. The ability to create. Uh, yeah, okay. I, for some reason, thought that I had another travel gate registered. It's another bro, isn't it? And a cooking spit. Is this guy also just going to be facing that way? Because if so... Nope, never mind. Okay. My wooden stick broke. But I got another. Ooh, those peppers? Spicy peppers. This is something that I talked about in the last stream that I did of um, Breath of the Wild. I'm just going to do two for right now because I only have three hearts. Um, like reusing apples and peppers and stuff like that. Um, oh, why did I? Because I haven't heard if the uh, if this, the music or anything is different. It is slightly different. There seems to, there's it, it feels like there's a little more bass or something to it or I don't know maybe a different like this the sound is layered differently, but that's something I talked about in the last stream that I did it, um, where I streamed Breath of the Wild is that um, reusing assets from the oh that's why there are peppers here. It's like getting to the Cryonis Shrine in the, on the Great Plateau. All right, so I need more peppers then. Um, but reusing assets from Breath of the Wild means that they can, they don't have to create more assets from scratch. They can just reuse those and focus their efforts in the last five years on creating something new. And, um, oh, you don't have a paraglider. I keep forgetting. Ooh, a bong. <laughs> more papers. Papers, please. Was that just what it meant? That the, what he said, the evening chime? Is that all that, that gong noise was? So I charge. Sky shroom. Now, how much cuz right here is where the snow starts so how much um time do i need to give myself with a uh, cold resistance by which i mean how many peppers do i need to collect the music is also similar in um, feel to Breath of the Wild, where it's it's a bit lonely, you know. Are these Koroks again? Yay! I'm not Hestu, but you can see me. I didn't know someone like you could see Children of the Forest. It's exactly same dialogue from before. I will. So these guys are the new guardians. Oh, that <laughs> frame drop scared the crap out of me. Okay, where was that cooking spit? Over here. I think we take our chances and um, see if maybe what we have right now will tide us over. And I think probably just to make a beeline for the shrine and not not explore. So try to take full advantage of the uh, um, 
our cold resistance. Okay, level one cold resistance for 730. That's pretty good. Watching the temp gauge. Get a move on. Onwards and upwards. Just in case there's another cooking spit up there. At seven minutes. I feel like it genuinely takes longer for stamina to recharge. Oh, ice is. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Heck. All right. You can make me do it the right way, game. How dare you? Hey, a steward. I'm a fan. Confirming raft and Zonai device operational status. Ah, pardon my rudeness. Do you require a raft? The ones by the riverbank are ready for use. The Zonai device also has been inspected. Zonai device? Yes, this green thing, this green thing, is called a Zonai device. I, the, the one I'm inspecting is known as a fan. It activates when struck to generate wind on command. Interesting. This river is meltwater. Falling into it will quickly sap your stamina. It is for this reason that I maintain rafts to cross to the other bank. I should mention that energy is essential to, for using a Zonai device. You will need an energy cell if you want to use one. This is a problem. You do not seem to have an energy cell. You are correct. It will be impossible for you, for you to use any Zonai devices without an energy cell. Zonai devices are essential on this island. I will give you a spare energy cell, but only one. A gift from a Zonai construct designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zonai devices. Sweet. Thank you. Energy cells store the energy required to use a Zonai device. This energy will replenish automatically when the Zonai device is not in use. Oh, interesting. Be mindful of your energy reserves. It would be unfortunate to run out mid-use. The rafts by the riverside have been, have been thoroughly inspected. They are ready for your for for your use in crossing the rivers. Interesting. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. So wait, what do I do? I just hit it, right? And because, is it because I have the energy cell that now it will work? Oh, yeah. Oh. Interesting. Huh. All right. Okay, cool. I was about to, like, do I need to shut it off or it's going to keep draining my... Cool. A battery. Wait, why is there a... Oh, because it's above me. I'm like, why do I have a uh, the marker on my slate? I'm going to keep calling it the slate. The pad. The Pura pad. The delay is really weirding me out. I mean, that's going to that's gonna take some time to get used to. More peppers. I can't move that up here, can I? I didn't even... I, I just impulsively shield surfed. And <laughs> oh, I can grab it. Cool. You're coming with me. 515 on cold resistance. Oh, 
I was like, the river's gonna take it, and it was moving not as quickly as I thought it would. <laughs> Alright. First death, right? First death? Put that on the counter. Oh, come on! Do I have the uh, device? I do. Cool. Battery thing in, on it. Oh! <laughs> Wait, stop. I want it to stop. If I just move away from it, it'll stop. How do I get it to stop if I'm not near it? Or if I am near it. I just hit it again. Because did that take... I have 12. I'm, st I'm just still understanding the... I'm still trying to understand the mechanics um, and everything. Not what I'm saying. Oh wait, hang on. There's... Uh, I need these. Oh, come on! <laughs> I don't know why I had to jump into it. I could have just ran onto it. Whoops. Okay, yeah, and you can hit it again to stop it. Good, good, good. This game is already amazing. <laughs> It doesn't move as fast as I think it's moving. Ha! <laughs> Gosh dang it. say anything. <laughs> Can't even tell that I'm looking at camera because of the reflection of the screen in my glasses. <laughs> Don't push it. You're pushing it. Okay, there's no clever way around this, is there? <laughs> it's, just, it's just gotta not suck. <laughs> I just need to point it upstream so that when if if it hits it won't um, it won't because it's moving faster than I think but it also is not moving as fast as I think but it also also I could just climb up here can't I oh I was not paying attention to my stamina as closely as I should have been.
Okay, yeah, I didn't need to cross that like that. <laughs> well, we learned, okay? <laughs> What's the death counter at? Three already? Oops. I'm excited to see what the uh, different. Oops. I'm excited to see what the different armor sets are gonna look like. And yes, I'm gonna just move on to the fact that I died like five times to my own idiocy. Wait, you can use this, can't you? Oh, jeez, I was experimenting and almost walked into the river. <laughs> That's ice, ice, baby. Hi. I bet I can sneak around you. Uh, maybe not. Hi. Got him. Ha! <laughs> Wrecked him. Uh, another cooking pot. I haven't been foolish with my cold resistance in terms of like um, being smart about the time that I have and stuff. So I don't really need sky shrooms. I should have some more, uh, some more just regular food though. Oops. Speed up for four minutes. Decent. Oh, this is all ice. Ice, baby. You could climb up there if you... I'm up there. Let's go, gamers. Actually, I think this might be what you're supposed to do, considering there's not really another option. That splash would be freezing. Oh, shoot, I'm cold. I forgot that, that, shoot, I forgot that overrides, um, okay, I've got food, I'm keeping an eye on my heart, because <laughs> I was like, I don't, I didn't think I'd be able to get there, um, get up here without, uh, I know you're cold, chill, oh, <laughs> chill, <laughs> Um, I didn't think I'd be able to get up all the way with just one stamina wheel if I didn't have a speed boost, but now that I'm looking at it, I think I might have been able to. You know what? We played it safe. Yeah, I 100% could have got up here with, uh, just one. Alright. Any other climbing I got it? No, it's right there. No, it's right there. You know what? It's right here. I'm just gonna sprint for it and not... <laughs> And then, I know he's cold. Why did I eat a pepper? Because I'll probably get my hearts refilled anyway. I don't know why I had to eat the whole fruit. Because um, I'll probably get my hearts refilled anyway when I finish the shrine. So... I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, it's cold. So I'm not gonna down a cold thing and be, have it be tick the timer be ticking down for my cold resistance while I'm in the shrine. Hello. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Making sure I'm still in frame. I've been moving around a lot. 
Look at those nails. Ascend. Move upward through solid material and emerge on top of it. Mm. This is the ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Use Ascend and receive the blessing from this shrine. Wait, hold on. I want to see what... Okay, there's nothing to Ascend through right here. There's this. Whoa. Okay, that it read you can't go through it. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like how these these runes went from like regular regular Legend of Zelda bombs and and you know magnetic magnetically attract things together to phase through the very fabric of reality. <laughs> There's got to be a chest up here. <laughs> it shakes it off. It's just like ah, it went through stone. <laughs> Oh, interesting. And I got the... No, I didn't. Wait. I didn't get the X. So how, wait, how does that work? Because you, you... That way you don't have to... Um, I want to drop this. X to drop. I hit, I hit Y to sort and uh, X to drop. That's a very smart piece of UI. Uh, that's a very simple but very smart piece of UI so you don't have to back out of the chest, drop your crap, and then back and then go back into it. That's an extremely helpful um, piece of, uh, not UI, because it would technically be UI, but that's very helpful. I like that a lot. What's the purpose of just staying in here? To decide if you actually want to get out here or not, I guess. And then you can just like pop back down. And... Hi. <laughs> Goodbye. An old bro. Old wooden bro. <laughs> poke, poke, poke. That's smart. I like that. That's a very good design. Construct bow. A bow used by a captain construct. Though simply built, it is made of fireproof materials and won't catch fire as wooden bows do. Steel would have worked, guys. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I was about to say, can I just grab it and just break the, uh, break the ropes that way? But I guess I have to, um, bonk. Well, I guess I have to. That is wild. There are so many puzzle applications for that. That's so cool. 
I'm um, guessing we can't get through that. Oh, we can actually. But, but why? Couldn't we just... Oh, probably because this was too far away, right? Nice. No more chests. No more chests. Alright. Another one down. Just one more, right? Oh, look. There. I don't know why I pointed like that. Perfectly framed in the window. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> Sorry. Swimming in cold water will lower your body heat. I, I know. I, I know. I noticed. <laughs> oh, jeez. For some reason, I, I saw that I had 18, um, 18 seconds left on my speed up. And I thought that, that this was 18 seconds of cold resistance. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> Okay, we just need one more, right? Yeah. Oh. What's that? Where's another shrine, bro? Ooh, over there. Cool. Blue is my next shrine. Whoa. A tree. Okay. Um, what did I just click? Bl uh, red was this thing over here. Then there's this pagoda over here. Pagoda is not the word I'm looking for. There's 100% of Korok on top of this. Um, and then over there... Okay. I was, just, I was just debating whether or not I had the, uh, um... Oh, but it's slick. So I might not even be able to... Oh, wait. There's stuff. Flint. Okay. That's worth it. Whoa, weird ones. But there's a chest. Um, okay. How would I get up there, though? I, um... Ooh. I think I... Oh, <laughs> Not sure if this is gonna. Ah, oh, you would need so many. But it, that I think that's I think that's the solution, though. Stick a bunch of these together and make a ladder. That almost dropped that on me. Nice. Oops, I didn't mean to attach it like that. Okay, so it kind of has like an automatic um, point, but it also does care. It also does matter how you um, stitch it together as well. Because I thought it would like it would only lock in in, in one um, formation. 
but yeah, the direction and orientation that you're putting it um, on does matter. Just like you can put it on slightly crooked. Oh, can I not get high enough? Weed joke? Or I could just do that, uh... Nice! Oh, 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 ah! Oh, there we go. You heard nothing. You heard nothing. Uh, you heard nothing. You heard nothing. Oh, come on. Whoa, he's gonna throw stuff at me. Ow! Okay. Uh. Bye. <laughs> difficult okay 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 easy now easy there killer Where'd the other one go captain construct horn can cap cap Captain Construct 1 horn. This wavy double-edged blade-like horn is formidable when it comes to slashing. Attach it to a weapon to increase attack power. I'm sorry, what? Whoops. I keep on... Uh, there we go. And you're still down here. I bet it's locked till he's dead. Yep. Hi. I can survive this jump, right? Oh, you know what else I can do? Sweet. Nice. It's a face. <laughs> oh. Uh. Powerful, but it breaks easily. All right. Think. Uh. Get this. And then maybe you'll need to do like a handful. Oh, don't push it. Maybe you'll need to do like a handful more things, and then uh, we have to call it for tonight. Opal. Okay, that, oop, that is gonna have to be a different time. Uh, gonna keep on moving over this way to that last, to that last one. Which is down, right? Yeah, okay, good. I don't know why I, for some reason, thought that doing that would reset my, um, wait a minute. That's an axe blade. So if I find a tree branch, or if I just do this. Oh, 
white jelly. If I find a tree branch and just stick it on there, that would work, right? It's really, it's gone into a deep slumber. Okay. Because I thought that's what that was implying. But then picking it up just rem removes it from the, from the, uh, the, uh, ooh, I'm running out. All right, let's get off this mountain. I thought that you could just attach attach crap to that, um, to your weapons and just keep them like that, but, uh, that's not good to jump down into. Shoot, I'm gonna get down. Over brum, 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 brum. How am I gonna get down? I have to go all the way around. Okay, it might be um, worth it to just go back to this one and then come along here. I'm gonna give that a try. Oh, wait. Can I not just travel from anywhere? Hi! Well, that didn't do a whole lot. You're gross. I need to find... Oh, look at them. Blech. 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 Okay. Um, this is kind of a side mission, or a side area, and I'm, uh, running out bomb flower. Oh, hi! Um, uh, wasting my, uh... Cold resistance. Okay, I'm gonna have to just go back up top, aren't I? Shoot. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go back, go back up top and then go back around. Frick. All right. Well, I think I can rest here. Yeah. Help. I need to find a cooking spit in five minutes, or I am bone dizzled. I don't have fire, though. I have flint, though. Good. Right on. Okay. 
Okay, now, then I might be able to just go that um, other way. No, the reason I couldn't go that way was because of the... Uh, um, I wouldn't. I had no way to get down. All right, I'll just keep going like a normal then. I have to go over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, can I travel from this? Because that would make more sense and be more balanced. That I couldn't just, I can't just fast travel away at any given moment. Still can't, huh? Interesting. In tor esting. Uh, I think I can use these tree branches to get up here. Oh shoot! Oh, I have more. Good. This game is awesome, dude. <laughs> the noise of the bonks is also really... Don't rotate. The noise of the bonks is also really, really fun. I thought that was a dead bacoblin for a second. Small amount of power. To restore a small amount of power. Interesting. Ooh! Nice. Okay, sweet. Right on. And there's more armor. St still, still shirtless in the middle of the um, middle of winter, going full Kratos mode. Whoa! Where are you? Oh, it's um. Okay, wait, hang on. Hang on, bro. There's stuff up here. And I want to see it. Just those pants should be enough because it's level one cold resistance, right? Are those bombs? Question mark? What is this? Ooh. My maintenance duties are complete for today. It has been another cycle with no visitors. Oh? This is a rarity. It is unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you will require Zonai devices to ascend to descend the mountain. Would you like to use the device dispenser? Device dispenser? Yes, I am manufacturing Zonai devices using this device dispenser. Do you see the bowl-like receptacle? Resources held in your hands can be deposited there. It accepts resources such as construct horns and Zonai charges for processing. The altitude here is incredibly high. It is no easy task to descend the mountain. Excuse me. That is why I am preparing wing-type Zonai devices. They are useful tools for making your descent. Zonai capsules are very convenient. They are, port they are a portable form of Zonai device that you can retrieve at any time. I suggest that you deposit resources in the device dispenser before proceeding. But then... It's a vending machine. I got a gumball. Fan. Zonai device that produces wind with, with its internal propellers. Likely that Zonai 
made smart use of this wind power to transport objects and generate thrust. If I'm trying to get up there, which I am. Can I climb it? Okay, I can climb it. So where's the fan? Take it out device. What if I put it at an angle? Then I wouldn't need two, right? Nifty. Whoa! Stop. Stop. That's awesome. That opens up a lot of possibilities for puzzles and that kind of stuff. Just sticking crap together. Chest. Wing, a Zornai device that can harness lift to ride the wind to fly farther. Try balancing in the center of the wing. I just got one of those. Can't take that out of here. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, don't bonk me. I mean, frankly, oh. I mean, frankly, it's close enough. Yeah, I can just jump onto that. Oh, I for some reason thought that I could just take it with me. <laughs> I could just keep it in my inventory. That's really cool. Okay, if we're using this as a launch pad. Okay, I gotta talk to him to figure out how TF to use that. But that is awesome. Okay. Plenty to do next time, but I'm gonna call it for tonight. Um... I am already special controls. Scopes and pins. I am already so into this. <laughs> uh oh good, I do have level one cold resistance as well. This is awesome.
and it just glides by itself too. That's so cool. That's the problem with us. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm gonna end for to tonight, um, but definitely we'll be back um, probably tomorrow not as well. Um, I know not, hardly no one is is watching these streams, but definitely I'm gonna make some more shorts and more videos and everything. Um, I'm all about this. I am so excited for this game, and it is blowing away expectations so far. So um, thanks everyone for watching this and I will see you all next time.